We're talking about protein research and sample prep with Neil Kitchen. Neil, real challenge for our customers who are working in protein research. Talk about our innovation in slidalizers. Yeah, so we have a lot of new products. Our slidalizers are dialysis units, so they're made to be able to change your uh, sample prep, to change your buffer to a different buffer, remove contaminants. It goes from 70 mils, 50, 30, down to a couple mil volume size. So you can really do a small sample size up to a larger, uh, up to 250 mils now. This is our new slidalizer flask. And so the flask actually is able to hold 250 mil volume. And just like our other slidalizers, it's a dialysis unit that's very convenient, very efficient at removing the contaminants, changing the buffer. All you simply do is fill your sample into the top here and you're going to submerge it into your buffer that you want to change it into, and you simply change the buffer. This usually is an overnight experiment or protocol, but once you do, you, you have the sample in the right buffer, and it, it's ready to go for your downstream application. And the alternative, if someone's not using this? Well, at a larger volume, there's not a lot of opportunities to do other than this. So the slidalizers, and especially at this volume, are uh, one of the sole solutions for that. Uh, at smaller sample sizes, we do have other uh, desalting columns and other ways to change the buffer. Sure. So we have a lot of different uh, options for being able to change buffer to remove contaminants. Uh, but for larger volumes, this is one of the best uh, options out there. Obviously, there's other ways to do dialysis, but the thing that makes these great is that they are very efficient. You don't have to worry about sample loss. A lot of times in the old days you used what was called snake skin and you had to kind of pinch the, the skin and it was really hard to do that right and not cause leakage. You can imagine if you're submer submersing your sample into a buffer you don't want to have it leak out and lose all of your sample and so this is kind of an assurity that you're not going to lose your sample and that you're still going to be able to do the buffer exchange that you need to do for your downstream application. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash